Certainly no rest for the crews today as they sail south southeast at 10 to 15 knots of breeze and absolutely no rest for the navigators and skippers as they work hard to evaluate those wind angles and try to find the best way to pick up those valuable points at the scoring gate. Ericsson 4 seems to be sailing a uh, slightly more uh, deeper angle and able to maximize their salving and that's really where they want to go right now since the scoring gate is to the south southeast of their current position. Telefonica Blue and Green Dragon further back here are also making some gains on Ericsson 3 and Puma, mainly because they're sailing in a bit stronger breeze. If we overlay the winds uh, captured by the satellite as it passed over the fleet about six hours ago, we can see the slightly stronger winds up here where Green Dragon and, and Telefonica Blue are located. The other thing we notice is that Ericsson 4 is uh, sailing in, in more of a northeast breeze, more left-shifted breeze relative to Puma and Ericsson 3. These boats are more of, uh, in an east-northeast wind. If we zoom out a little bit further, we can uh, see an important uh, weather feature just to the south here of Ericsson 4. This cloud buildup here is called the South Pacific Convergence Zone, and I'll overlay the uh, analysis from the U.S. National Weather Service to give you a better feel for that. And uh, this dashed red line is the South Pacific Convergence Zone. This is a semi-permanent feature in this part of the world and it's a focal point for the development of showers and thunderstorms. What the fleet is hoping to do is sail down the eastern side of this trough and take advantage of the more northeasterly winds, more reaching type or even running conditions uh, down the uh, eastern side of this trough line. In addition, over the next few days, there is a chance that a small low pressure area may develop uh, just out to the southwest here, and that could further accelerate the fleet to the south. Right now, we're looking at about um, four to, uh, sorry, five to six days to get to the scoring gate. So relatively dry on the boats right now, but as you saw from that satellite picture, they're headed toward that convergence zone with lots of showers and squalls in it. So wetter conditions on the horizon and uh, some complicated sailing to try and get to those scoring gate points.